Hello, and welcome to your field study. Before we get started on your grade specific and Georgia specific field study, we're going to take a look at monuments and architecture around the world. There are numerous monuments around the world that we recognize, and I'm going to pull four of them that you probably recognize with specific locations. But before we get started, let's talk for a moment. Around the world, there are many big monuments. They might be sculptures or they might be architecture. And there are many reasons why people make this art and why these pieces of art are located outside. Take a moment and think about those. Think about why do you think we put some artwork outside? Why do you think we have artwork where people can see it the most? Now let's look at some of America's big monuments, including America's most famous statue, the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated in New York City in October 28, 1886. It was designed by Frederick August Bartoli, but it was created by Gustav Eiffel. And yes, you recognize that name, I'm sure. The statue itself is 151 feet and 1 inches tall, or about 46 meters. But from the base, the foundation of the pedestal, all the way to the tip, it doubles. It goes up to 305 feet and 1 inch, or 93 meters. The Statue of Liberty is arguably one of the most recognizable American icons. Most people around the world, even if they don't know where America's uh, capital is, they'll recognize the Statue of Liberty. Next we have the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, another landmark famous location. The Eiffel Tower was constructed for two years from 1887 to 1889 to be the entrance to the World's Fair in Paris. It was named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose team designed and built it. It is 1,063 feet tall, or 324 meters tall, which makes it about the same size, a little bit more than an 80-story building, and is the tallest structure in Paris. Again, this is a very famous landmark or icon. Most people would recognize this as being a French thing, and you, they would tell, they would be able to tell you that it is located in Paris, even if they might not know that Paris is the capital of France. Next, we have the Great Sphinx in Giza, Egypt. The Great Sphinx. While it is impossible to know who built the Sphinx because of its age, it is generally believed to represent the Pharaoh Khafre. It is believed to be 4,500 years old. It measures 240 feet long from the back to the front and then 66 feet tall from the top of the head down to the bottom. And you can see in some of these pictures, especially if we go back one, it is located near the pyramids, and then I wanted to put these pictures in here so you could see how close the pyramids are to a city. Now we have the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. Construction started in 1933 and it ended in 1937. Before that, there had been a ferry service, which means that there was a boat that would carry people across the bay. It was headed by a man named Joseph Strauss. The height is 246 feet tall at its biggest. And while the whole bridge is 1.7 miles, there is only 0.79 miles over the water. 
which means there's still more land around it that's considered part of the Golden Gate Bridge. So my second and third grade friends, we're going to be looking at Georgia's public artwork, monuments, statues, murals, and more that we have around Georgia. First, we're going to look at Miss Freedom on the Gold Dome. which is the Capitol building. Miss Freedom is a statue that is 26 feet tall. You can see a small version of her there on the tall picture that's inside the Capitol building. She was created in 1889, which makes her over 130 years old. The origin of Miss Freedom is a little vague since the documents were, to her creation were lost in a fire. However, we do believe that a company from uh, Ohio was the one that created her and shipped her down to Atlanta. The lamp that is in her hand, her raised hand, is a working lamp and it lights up at night to show the way. The next statue we're going to look at is the Waving Girl statue in Savannah. The Waving Girl statue in Savannah is based on a real person named Florence Martis. She lived at, with her brother at a lighthouse near Savannah. For 44 years, she would greet all of the ships that entered Savannah by either waving her handkerchief during the day or a lantern to them at night. Sailors began to think that she was a good luck sign. To see her would be good luck. So when she passed away, the city decided that they would create a statue for her in that honor to, consider, uh, to continue her uh, good luck of waving to uh, the ships. In your STEM journal, you are going to find a new page. Write your My Field Study notes and the date at top and you're going to write on this exercise. Here's your question. If you could create a statue of a person for Amana Academy, who would it be? Why would you pick that person? Next, where would you put that statue? On top of the building, or in the parking lot, or in another spot? Why would you pick that location? Thank you, second and third grade. I hope you have fun.